In today's video, we're going to go over some TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. Using 3D glasses to see extra dimensional crafts part 1. I'm going to go ahead and increase the brightness and add a circle around the object. There is definitely something there. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. The video is a little too blurry, which is a shame because I do think I see something in there. It's just too dark and too blurry, and I do think I see a flashing light. But yeah, if you recall a previous episode and the episode before last, I was talking about finding some film or <laughs> film. What, what, what are we recording this on film? I said that I was going to go out and try to find some footage of people doing this 3D glasses thing where these people take 3D glasses from like movie theaters, the red and the blue lens, they take it apart and then they put both of those lenses on their phone camera and they're supposedly able to see like UFOs and things that you just can't see with the naked eye. But uh, I'm having a hard, hard time finding videos about this. It's, it's crazy, people wanna see it, but there's no videos of it out there barely. Yeah, not very much to see out of that one either. I only have like one more left. I'll play it in a couple of videos from now on. And I see that little blue speck moving around. I, I see people in the comments saying that this could be uh, one of Saturn's moons, but there's also people saying that it's moving too quickly uh, with the other ones not moving barely at all. It always fascinates me that we can get such close footage of these planets and they're so far away. That's just mind-boggling to me. 
We may have just uncovered some huge secrets and mysteries about the pyramids. This is absolutely been insane. This is stuff which has never been seen before. So, of course, the pyramids are one of the biggest mysteries on the entire Earth, one of the seven wonders of the world. They're crazy. And, of course, one of the biggest mysteries known to mankind is what actually are the pyramids? How did they get built? What do they mean? I mean, I could talk for years about the pyramids, and I do. How did the ancient civilizations carry these huge, colossal blocks over 500 miles from the quarries they were dug up in? How are the pyramids built so perfectly? pointing exactly towards all the stars and all of the numbers of them matching up when you measure them it all equals actual numbers like it is insane but anyway of course we've investigated the pyramids a fair amount people have been in them people have got footage they've gone into all of the chambers and everything and we've got quite a lot of evidence from it but there are some places in the pyramids that aren't accessible to us as humans they're too small they're too far down we can't get there we can't dig it up because it's a national treasure but we can send a robot or ai down there and that is exactly what's been done. So yesterday, a robot captured some never-before-seen footage of inside the pyramid. New tombs, new chambers, passageways, things that have never been seen before beneath the pyramids. But this robot is still on its mission, and it is still looking for evidence and new things. So this story is going to develop even more, and I'm sure they're going to make some crazy discoveries. Hey, I'm excited for this. I have always said, well, not always. I would say within the past, like, five to six years, I have been saying... Why do we not explore the pyramids with micro drones? You know, drones that are just yay big that can fit through small spaces. I think that that would be the best way to explore these places, any place. And that's including spelunking for cave divers and um, for sea divers. I think using drones and equipment like that, that should be like the first thought that comes to mind. But I am excited to see more about this, hopefully. This video was only posted five hours ago since of the recording of this video. So hopefully we'll get to see some more stuff updated as this progresses. So stay tuned for that. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make videos like this almost every day. And it would be awesome to see you come back again tomorrow. People walking in the clouds, out of everything, I see this trips me up the most. Oh, uh, this is interesting. I've seen this video quite a few times now on TikTok. I'm pretty much done with it at this point. But this one is one of the better videos because there's a different shade of color. It helps distinguish what they're talking about when they say something is walking across the clouds. It definitely does look like something just scooting across the clouds. I personally think that it's just a, a small cloud just passing by or small clouds passing by, but hard to tell. What do you guys think? Is this people walking in the clouds? Is this an alien spaceship that's behind clouds and the sun's hitting the glass just right to allow you to see in the dome of the spaceship? There's so many conspiracies around this. I would like to know, like, what is your guys' opinions about it? Finding UFOs with 3D glasses, test one is complete. Here's the original video that got you guys stirred up. Apparently, you can see UFOs with 3D glasses. You take the blue and the red, put them together and use as a filter for your phone. Check this video out. Guys, let's take a sneak peek. You know, we got to try them on. Take a look outside. Oh, <laughs> put the blue and red together. It makes purple. So this is what we're doing. I put it outside, put the blue lens, put the red lens. And what do we have? A beautiful purple color. So this is what I captured today. As you can see, there were tons of clouds in the sky. It was so overcast, you couldn't see anything. It was very beautiful, even though there were so many clouds. I can do another test on another day. Um, but it's actually very interesting, uh, the way that it looks like the clouds in the sun. I'm interested to see what infrared with these glasses can do. Also, in the original video that said to remove the glass from the cell phone, I'll talk about that in the end. But comment below what you guys think, um, if you guys want me to do some more tests, but just enjoy the footage. This is what I saw today, just chilling in the backyard. I was looking really hard for something. I have an open mind. I like to try everything. Oh, 
What a beautiful day. And by the way, I have seen unidentified flying objects uh, before. So there you guys have it. There was test number one. I can try it again when there's no clouds in the sky. Um, you know, just to let you guys know that UFOs do exist. Uh, there are interdimensional beings. The government recently called them non-humans and said that they do exist. But in fact, they are fallen angels. They are demons. And they do have the ability to travel and to move in a way that our natural eye cannot see. The Bible talks about a spiritual veil that is on our eyes that God can lift. So I believe that we're coming to a time where we're about to start seeing a lot more supernatural things. And I enjoy the supernatural on my channel here. Number one, it was a cloudy day here in Florida. I'll try it again on a day with no clouds. Also, I have some older models of phones in my closet we can try with too. There's one detail that I want to remind you guys in the original video in the interview. It said that you have to remove the glass from the camera. Um, so I'm not gonna remove the glass from my iPhone 15. If you guys have any suggestions or things that I should try, comment below. Click follow. Also, for people to say that something's not possible, you have a very closed mind. Uh, I was hoping to see something out of that, but it seemed to be nothing that I could see. If you guys seen anything in that test footage, let me know, but I, I don't think there was anything in there. Uh, I am going to periodically check up on this individual's channel to see if he uploads anything new with this because it is very interesting. I'm very curious about this test and I think a lot of people are going to start doing things like this more and more this year in 2024 and eventually we're gonna run across something that was not supposed to be ran across. Did you even see recently that scientists were able to have a full conversation recently? This what a dolphin. Year, what a f no, not a dolphin, a whale. Really? I put this on God, bro. I forgot what the whale's name is, but they, bro, they found out, yeah, I was gonna say, they found out how to have a full conversation with a whale, bro, and they were talking about a bunch of crazy really? shit bro, with this whale, yeah. And scientists were saying that, and that happened in 2023, like the end of 2023, and they were saying that it was um, the next step that would make us, for some weird reason, I don't know the connection, close one step closer to contacting and being able to speak with aliens. Hmm. And I don't know what the connection was, but maybe somebody will be able to tell maybe me. Maybe it's bit like more, but... breaking breaking that language barrier with a with a like a foreign creature. You know what I'm saying? Like this thing doesn't even speak like words. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's yeah. just noises and. Yeah, but we're able to communicate. Hear the with sound them. waves or something. That is so yeah. wild. Yeah, and they're able to do it back. So the whale was understanding what they're what saying they were too. Saying, yes, and they were having wow. a full conversation with this whale. Yeah. See, that's just scary. Like, what if some real like planet ape happens? That's what I'm saying. Bro. Uh, I mean, these guys kind of blow things out of proportion a lot, but it is interesting conspiracy nonetheless. I read a little bit about the communication with the whales. And what's happening is they're using the sound frequencies with these whales and they're using an AI model to determine what the language and the speaking patterns are to what they want, basically. So they, can, they can't necessarily communicate to the whales, but they can understand the whales. And with that, we can also learn how to communicate back. It's a very interesting thing, and I, I'm really excited to see how this technology further develops with other animals. Like, I would love to be able to have a conversation with my dog, and my dog be able to conversate back to me in a way that it understands, and that way I understand. I think that's amazing. We breathe near this tree, smoke comes out. Oh, that what the crazy. heck is that? Happening? It's crazy. Temperature is 78 degrees. It is not cold enough not cold enough. for this to be happening. I'm honestly I'm not sure what this is. I'm not very familiar with this area or anything like that of what it could be. They could be lying about the temperature for all I know. But looking at the comments here, some people are saying it's just the dew point of where the temperature of the air can't hold more moisture, things like that. So maybe that's what it is. What do you guys think? Cuz I I'm clueless. How come nobody talked about what this man said on Joe Rogan's podcast? Listen very carefully. We all will suffer from some form of dementia. Neuropathy occurs. There is a really wonderful, safe, and legal mushroom to use, and that's called lion's mane. This is a smart mushroom. Now, the tragedy that we face, I believe, as a society, we're all going to suffer through neuropathy, forgetting, not remembering. So I think this is something that's really extraordinarily exciting. 
So what this man is talking about is the lion's mane mushroom and all the benefits are listed right here. But like this man said, it has cognitive properties that can break the scientific world. So basically it boosts mental clarity and focus while also getting rid of brain fog and therefore improving your overall mood. So if you're a person like me that can never focus and you thought you had ADHD because of your low attention spans, it's probably just because your cognitive levels are low. And this would be amazing for you. The best part is if you pair it with complementary mushrooms such as Shaga or Cordyceps, then not only can it be great for your brain, but it can also help reduce stress and anxiety, as well as improve immunity, energy, focus, and your overall brain function. But I know what you're thinking. If these mushrooms are so great, why has my doctor never mentioned these at all? And the answer is very simple. So these mushrooms can't be patented. So big pharma couldn't be able to profit off these. Plus, they also keep money in their pockets by keeping you sick, not by curing you. Literally, get some lines made supplements and take them. You will feel better in a couple of days mentally. You will think clear. Like, you will have a clear thought process. I mean it. It's the craziest thing. Another really good substance that I think helps with mood and being uh, a little bit level-headed and clear-headed is ashwagandha. I think that that is amazing as well. It really uplifts the mood and it just makes the day better in my opinion. All right, guys, just listen up here. This guy says the Old Testament written in Hebrew taught him how to summon UFOs. All right, he says he can also do this on command and he adds he's been doing it for 25 years, keeping all of it secret until now. These beings are here. They are here. They're just sitting right up there. We met up with Prophet Yahweh, seer of Yahweh, at Doolittle Park off Lake Mead. We picked the day, we picked the time, and we picked the location. Everyone's going to think you're absolutely nuts. Well, I thought I was absolutely nuts. Until, he says, he saw UFOs. Over the years, 1,500 of them. Can we make it uh, 1,501 today? What do you think? I'll try it. He says the voice in his head told him to go public now. So we took him up on his offer, and we scanned the skies. Nothing but a few clouds. When the prophet started praying for a sighting, I wasn't exactly convinced. I pray, oh Yahweh, that you send a sighting so that they know that I am not mentally ill. I am not a false prophet like those who seek to kill me say I am. I see something straight up. Oh, brother, look at it. There it is. You can barely see it, a white speck. Then, another sighting. There it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Photojournalist Jonathan Hawkins locks in on it. Let's take a closer look here. It's an orange sphere that appeared out of nowhere. I called a boss with an unexpected change in my story. I can see it as clear as day. In fact, it's bright. I can see it. It's, it's moving pretty fast. It's going to Nellis Air Force Base. It wants to be seen. We called Nellis to see what these things might be. Guess what? They didn't call us back. But this thing started coming back toward us. It's yeah. coming toward us now, I think. What? See, it's coming up toward us. Whoa, man! Oh, hallelujah! Then, a few seconds later, it disappeared. It's going back up in space. Prophet Yahweh isn't concerned. He says it'll be back. And I'm still not quite sure what those things were. Now, if I didn't see this for myself, I probably would have just laughed this whole thing off. Prophet Yahweh says, though, this is just the beginning. He says we're going to see a lot more of these things starting next week. And he says one will come down low enough for all of Las Vegas to see. Mike Del Estrito, Channel 13 Action News. That's interesting. The one thing also, before I even get into it, the news anchor people really creep me out. They're almost, they're just so fake looking they just don't look real uh, hold on let me see if i can't imitate the guy at the beginning that was a really interesting moment i don't know if that was a ufo or not but it was definitely convincing you see how like what that's so creepy it's so creepy but i don't know what that was i've never heard of the story i've never seen this man prophet yahweh uh, but that's interesting. What do you guys think? Like, did he really summon a UFO or was that like a drone or something? Because what testament was he reading that taught him how to do it? And what voice is he hearing in his head? Is it God or is it the aliens? I would really like to know. Something that really freaks me out is aliens. And not their existence. 
that's obvious. It's the disclosure of them on a like public mass scale. It would lead to the largest suicide event in human history. So many millions and millions of people would just kill themselves that it would be fucking horrifying. And there's a variety of reasons why they would do it. Some would be relig religious, but the majority of it would be people who literally just couldn't take it. And you gotta, you gotta view this through the lens of not like, oh, aliens get on a rocket ship and then they fly across the space and then they land on Earth to watch us. That's not, that's not aliens. Aliens would be more like, hey, your entire reality is fake. We warp space and time. We do whatever we want to us using the analogy of like, if, we, if you were to go to an ant colony and look down on it, even that doesn't grasp the difference in intelligence between an alien species who can come here and us. The, the difference would be like gods. It would just be gods. From your perception of like what a god can do, there's nothing an alien couldn't do that wouldn't be like just straight up Jehovah. Um, and it would just, it would be through technology, but it's that, it's that fucking meme that technology after a certain point just looks like magic. It would just look like magic to us. But people, people, they, they, they live their lives in this way where they think everything's going correctly and that they're just like, everything's going to plan. Everything's normal. You, you, you're born, you grow up, you, you go to school, you go to, you get your job. And then you go and live your fucking life and that's everyone's fucking life. But if it's revealed to you that your government has known forever that aliens are real and that everything you've ever done in your entire fucking life is a charade designed to keep you working uh, for like this master class of people who know more than you, who understand that they need to keep you in the dark about the actual nature of your existence, your existence, your life is just fake. It's all fake. It's all been choreographed before you were even fucking born. That's a big thing to take in. It, it, it would be like if you were living your entire life thinking everything was real and then just the sky was ripped open and a giant the size of the sun looked down and go, oh, interesting. You can't go about your life after that. It's so jarring to, 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 to feel that small and helpless and weak. People can't handle that shit. They'll, they'll kill themselves. A lot of them. And the other, like a lot of people's realities just break. I don't know if you've spent a time around schizophrenics before, but there's a threshold where people's realities just fucking snap and they can't handle it. They just can't handle it. And that's what would happen if they ever, if, ever, if tomorrow the aliens were like, yeah, what's up, guys? And then everyone's like, oh, why is the Fermi paradox a thing? The Fermi paradox is a thing because it needs to be a thing for your little brains to not explode. And Zeus had a great headache and then gave birth to Athena. Yeah, I found this to be really interesting. I, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I am almost certain that I could handle the reveal of aliens. I can handle the reveal of the government just keeping me to be a, a worker man or anything like that. I can handle the truth, I think. But, I mean, it, it is scary, but it's not that scary. And if it is that way, then what about it? We're living this life already, so what if it is something that extreme? We're still living this life, whether it be a fake life or not. We are still living it, and we can still fulfill this life to our best advantages you know at least here in america it doesn't always work that way for everywhere but here you have an opportunity as long as you really push yourself for it you know all right guys i think i'm gonna end the video here and with that being said have a good day